Okay, a few more things you need to look at here in Power Editor. We have all sorts of audiences, right? And it's being looked at here. The thing is, is from Power Editor, we can take a look at, let's say this is a group that we want to make a lookalike audience out of, and we can just create the lookalike audience by clicking on it. Okay, we can also create audiences just as a saved target group custom audience or look to like group so let's do a save target group okay and it could be part of a custom audience or not uh, it could be a particular location or not it could be a particular language which of course we would always do but this comes from your your market research if you know that there is a group uh, that has interests then we're just going to do what we did we did Ryan Dice God, I used to work with the man. I can't believe that I can't spell his name. All right, and then there was Frank. Worked with him too, but uh, I can spell his name. <laughs> and Brendan Bouchard. All right, and we add that. So now, once you find a target group that's working, you can make it into an audience of sorts. We could add other guys. We could add Mike, till same. But what you would want to do is do your research and then create these target groups based on that. And that's that. And you can also, by the way, um, audience estimate is not available right now, but nonetheless, you can then go ahead and save this group. You can use this target group and at any other time, if you want, you can go ahead and adjust it very easily by adding or subtracting things that you think are important. And again, here we have the ability in Power Editor to move up and down. And that's that. It's created. Now we can create another audience. We can create another saved target group. And we're going to call this one Test. And we can, again, we can put any type of thing here that's important. We can go into business interests and we can search business interests for marketing. Yeah, there we go. Yep. And we've got another test list. Now I can also delete the audience. Um, this will allow me to upload it. Now list settings. Look at this. It gives me all sorts of information that I can add to this if I want to as far as what I'm looking at. Friends of Connections. These are all the things that we can add to our particular audiences. All right, so now we have similar audiences. We have lookalike audiences. We have connection audiences. We have saved target groups. We can also take those target groups and once they do something, we can actually go ahead and create a similar audience of those. At this point, I've made all these similar groups, people who like Mike Fulsain. Uh, we made a conversion audience. Conversion audience, is that crazy? A conversion audience is a list of people that are similar to people that already, you know, that already converted. Uh, duh, we're talking about buyers or people who take action. That's probably one of your most important groups is your conversion group and your lookalike audience for conversions or for converters. And how do you create that? Create an audience. Create a lookalike audience. And we can say conversion pixel here. And then again, similarity and reach, that doesn't change. It's the same thing. All right, so that is really amazing a way to use your audiences in Power Editor in a way that you can't do it in the regular interface and we can create these target groups which also will go ahead and give us a lot more information but remember all of this stuff comes from your initial research you do either in audience insights or looking at your competitors and whatnot so you can create target groups because now let's say now that I created this target group called gurus right I'm gonna upload that change and that's done and we're going to close that. Now I'm going to go back to manage ads. And if I look at audience here, I can use an existing targeting group now that's now gurus. 
and I can use it over and over and over again, right? So that's in making my ads. It's really, really simple. You're going to have to practice going back and forth and making test campaigns, maybe pulling your hair out a little bit until you get it right, but I'm telling you, it's totally and completely worth it. You go ahead and make your workflow so much simpler by creating target groups, by making look-alike audiences, make, by making audiences that are similar to your fan pages, etc. and so on. It is so vital for your ads because really the thing is is that the ad has to pull. You have to know your ad copy. You have to have an image that makes a difference. But if you have the wrong target audience, it doesn't matter what you're doing. So there you go. I'll see you on the next video.